later. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Any regrets? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I have no regrets tattooed across my throat, so yeah. I'd be a bit of a hypocrite if I said I did. But no, no regrets. <clears throat> <laughs> when did you start getting done? Uh, when I was 17, so I'm 35 now. That was my first tattoo. First piercing when I was about 14, I think. And uh, just went on from there. Never planned on being as heavily tattooed as I am, but uh, it was just a natural progression of what I wanted to do. What's the stuff going up the side there? This, uh, it's geometric, like, pointillism, dot work. So, like, the geometric style of it. What? <laughs> would, would, would there be an English for that? <laughs> <laughs> dot work. Just dot? Just dot work, yeah. It's like geometric patterns, you know. Um, so, just a stylistic. But I have various different styles on me. What different ones do you have on your thing? <laughs> <laughs> Bit of everything. Um, I mean... Collectively, they are all different types, and I kind of like my tattoos. I appreciate them being, you know, the amazing, perfectly, you know, rounded ones, but I yeah. like mine a bit more punk rock, kind of black and grey. A lot of them are to do with uh, my martial arts, my music, <laughs> play drums in a band, my family, portrait of my dog, you know. Just basically your journal through life of everything that I'm into. Uh, if something comes along and I want it, I'll just get it done. What's the... Um what was the feeling like when you got your face done? As regards pain or just getting Just regards, it done? I, I, I guess, walking out of the shop and... <laughs> yeah, so, um, obviously it's a huge commitment, um, but I actually, I got the little star under my eye when I was 18 um, as my commitment to the industry because that's my job, that's my life. Are you, my are, you, are, you, are you also a tattoo artist? And I'm a piercer, body piercer, 16 years. Uh, body piercing is what I do, but I own a tattoo shop. Um, so that was my commitment because... Once you get the face done, there's no real going back. Unfortunately, in this world, that's just the way it is. But ever since I was a little kid, I've just always been absolutely fascinated. I don't know where I came from, just absolutely fascinated by tattoos and the art and the expression of it, basically. So, yeah, that was my first face, face tattoo. Um, and like I said, I never set out to be like, I'm going to be covered in tattoos. I want this, I want that. Um, it was just an honestly organic process of going through it. And when you're in the industry and if something came along and I wanted it, um, I would just get it done. I would never seek anyone's approval or, yeah. you know, it was a personal thing. And do you ever get weird receptions from people? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, do, I mean it's, a, yeah. it's a stupid question. Do you ever? Like, when do you not? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it completely changes your life, you know. Um, I've been refused membership to a gym, uh, even though I'm actually a qualified fitness instructor as well, because of my tattoos and a haircut like mine, because I had a mohawk. Yeah. Um, I've been asked to move in restaurants because uh, somebody in the restaurant didn't approve of looking at me while they ate. Um, I've had a guy walk into a street lamppost. He was staring so hard at me. <laughs> so it varies. Um, but it does. I mean, um, it, it makes you very socially aware, you know, and it's... One of those things that comes with looking like this and then people are, you know, you do have to deal with it and obviously it is a factor to go with it, but I actually hate the attention that it brings. And it's kind of hypocritical that someone would cover themselves in this. Um, I, I avoid, unless I'm playing gigs with my band and all that, I avoid social situations, going out in pubs and clubs because, especially when people have a few drinks and then their inhibitions drop through the corner and they think it's okay to start touching you and, you know, yeah. You know, making the comments and it always ends up in an argument or just ruining my night and ruining my friends or my family or my wife's night, you know. So um, it is one of those things, unfortunately, because humans judge aesthetically um, that you have to put up with. But uh, I wouldn't feel like myself if I didn't have these on my body. And I kind of yeah. I know that for a fact, because a lot of people always say to me, oh, what happens when you're 70? And, you know, the first thing you said, regrets. Um, I get that nearly every day in my life. But yeah. um, one thing that I did, uh, my friend who's a makeup artist, award-winning makeup artist, Marie Murphy, and um, we put together this little film, and basically she covered my tattoos head to toe in makeup, um, and I had a wig on, glasses on, and so much so that it didn't look like me, my own mother introduced herself to me. <laughs> when I showed up at the door, she was introducing wow. herself. Uh, she did not recognise me. But she didn't fancy her anything. <laughs> well, I hope not. That would be a bit weird. Um, but it answered my question because honestly, honestly, when I... Because you do often wonder, when people say it, I always have the knee-jerk reaction of, no, live for today, 
be whoever makes you happy. I don't think about yeah. when I'm 70 and I, uh, but you do always at the back of your mind think, mm, what would I be like without them? Would I have an easier life, blah, blah, blah. But when I looked in the mirror, when I was completely covered head to toe, uh, it, it was a stranger looking back at me. It, it confirmed any doubts that I had and it was the strangest thing and I honestly couldn't wait to get the makeup off me. Wow. It was crazy, yeah, so. What's the, and we'll end the tattoo conversation no, here. Was, I mean, uh, what's the worst facial tattoo that you've ever seen? I've seen everything. Like we do laser removal in the shop. Okay. And um, we've seen kind of the worst of the worst, you know? Yeah. Um, one of the funniest removals that we've ever done in the shop. And the poor guy, it was one of the most amazing full leg sleeves that we've ever seen in our lives. Um, and it was an 80s TV show. Uh, hosts and characters that he liked from his childhood and it was amazingly done portraits and everything he came into us and he's like look I have to get it removed and we were marveling at how amazing it was done and asking him questions and stuff and we're like so why, why are you looking to get it removed on this and he's like mm, lifted up the side and from here to here he had Jimmy Savile <laughs> right yeah right. so he was like, can't take his kids to the swimming pool, needs, needs oh, to be gone, you know? That. <laughs> <laughs> like the cigar in his mouth. But, he, he, you know, we were laughing and joking and he was cool. And then he was back in for an appointment months later. And he's like, guys, another one needs to go. Rolf Harris. <laughs> yeah, so that was a strange, <laughs> that was a strange one. Uh, yeah. Tell us about the, the, the music. What, what's your band? Uh, Amongst the Wolves. So it's like Celtic rock, rock band. So we bring like the Celtic Irish music into it. Yeah. And it's kind of like a rock band. And um, I also drum for a tribute prodigy band as well. Okay. Yeah. Um, so they're my two main ones, so I kept busy with that. Um, is the tattoo shop busy? It's crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's just busier than ever, yeah. So Irish Absolutely. people are... They're coming around slowly. Yeah. <laughs> slowly but surely. But yeah, I mean, it's just... Um, I mean, piercing-wise, there's just queues out the door every day. Tattoo-wise, um, like our artists are booked up for six months minimum in our shop, you know. Wow. Um, you have a few tattoos yourself, Tommy. I do. I have awful tattoos. Uh, I have a torso that looks like the school bag of a Gosson in fourth year. Uh, <laughs> it's just... I w and I would love to get them all coordinated and stuff like that, but I... They're not very nice <laughs> tattoos. Okay. Do you know? Um, but do you like do you like having them? Um, I don't think I have the type of body that suits tattoos, to be honest with you. But I, I would, I would at some stage like to get more done and to do them properly. And it's funny, I was thinking as you were talking, I must stay in contact with you and <laughs> do your deal. <laughs> get, get some stuff done. Yeah. Uh, uh, would you help me design a tattoo? Yeah, it's all custom design in our shop. So yeah. I wouldn't be very good at art now. So okay. I'd say to you, like, I want. Jimmy Savile tattooed. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, would yeah. you, so if, if I came in with the notion... Yeah, uh, that's pretty you, much you, all we do, yeah. You know, and would you take into account my, my body shape? Oh, we would, yeah, yeah. We'd accentuate, <laughs> <laughs> we'd accentuate your curves. Um, yeah, I mean, everything's custom designed, so that's... Um, we love, like, taking people's ideas. We'll never copy any direct yeah. images. Like, we'll do a version of it. But, yeah, yeah it's no problem at all. We'll draw you up something Well, that's weird. a date, Baz. I, yeah. will, I promise I'll see you in the shop if you'll have 100%, me. 100%, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, Baz Black. Thanks. That was great. Thanks.